Hey, okay, we are going through our audio settings for Zoom. First, we're gonna go through how you change settings for your laptop, and then we'll go through how you change settings for other devices, uh, iPhones, uh, iPads, etc. So we are in a Zoom meeting. We're gonna host a meeting. That's what we've done, open and use the app. I've gotta get back to that screen. Um, so we're in a meeting that we've started. We're hosting a meeting. I'm gonna go now to the top left corner to Zoom over here. I'm gonna to go to preferences. And here I wanna make sure I've chosen audio uh, for my preferences, uh, sorry, for my settings, so that I can see audio settings here. I'm gonna to go to the bottom right corner to advanced, and I wanna make sure that um, I disable these two features that suppress background noise, both intermittent and persistent. It is detecting our music and our tap sounds as background noise and it's trying to drown them out. So we want to make sure that that feature it does no longer says auto, but it says disable, right? So that our background noise uh, is heard, right? And the other thing we want to do is make sure that we are able to enable original sound from microphone. This is also very important that this box is ticked. Once you do all that, once you're in a meeting, then you can go in and you'll see it on your front left screen to enable original sound and you can turn that on. It's usually in the top left corner. It's hard for me to do while I'm in a screen share. Now let's talk about how to do this for a um, iPad, uh, iPhone, etc. So we are going to go back into Zoom and we're going to go to my account in the top right, go to my account and now I'm going to go to settings. Uh, I think there's a couple different looks for this, but I'll just show you mine. And there's a, I'm sure there's a way to find it. Settings for your meeting. You're looking for your meeting settings. Sometimes there's an option to go to your advanced settings directly, but mine, I just had to keep scrolling until I found this thing. So you've got in meeting basic settings. That's not it. We need in meeting advanced settings. Right, so here we want to look for two things and make sure that they are selected. Uh, allows users to select stereo audio in their client settings and allow users to select original sound in their client settings. That is super important that we do that. So once we do that here, then we need to go over to our actual device because these settings will help us set up what we need to do when we open our Zoom account on other devices. But this piece needs to be done on laptop, on computer. Then we can go over to the other device and we can go from there. Okay, so now I am on my iPad. Now, if you already had uh, Zoom uploaded as an app or downloaded onto your device, chances are you're gonna need to take it off entirely like you do whatever it is you need to do to delete the app um, and then reinstall it in order for this to work. So I did that already. So we're skipping that step because it's done. Then we're going to go into Zoom and we're going to go to that bottom left for settings once we're on this screen. And I'm going to go to meetings. And now when you go to this meeting setting, what appears is that use original sound option. Ding, ding, ding. That is the one that will keep Zoom uh, from trying to mute all of your tap sounds and music uh, that you're playing in your space. So once you do that, you use that original sound, you will be good to go, yeah. This is obviously something that you can share with uh, your students. If you are trying to listen to them on Zoom and have them dance one at a time, having them change these settings for themselves will also be super valuable, yay.